Welcome to a code report solution video. In this video, we're going to be covering the solution to a problem entitled Chef and I'd from the Code Chef August 2018 lunchtime contest. The problem states, during I'd, it's a tradition that each father gives his kids money, which they can spend on entertainment. Chef has N coins. Let's denote the value of coin I by VI. Since today is I'd, Chef is going to give one coin to each of his two children. He wants the absolute value of the difference between the values of coins given to the two children to be as small as possible so that he would be as fair as possible. Help Chef by telling him the minimum possible difference between the values of the coins given to the two children. Of course, Chef cannot give the same coin to both children. And note that the constraints for this problem, the number of test cases we're gonna be given is between one and 100. Uh, the number of coins for each of these test cases is gonna be between two and 10 to the five. And uh, the other two values uh, or constraints aren't too important. So let's take a look at the examples that Code Chef provided us with. So here are the examples. The first number here, two, is just the number of test cases. And then each test case starts with n, the number of coins, which for each of these is three. And then we're given the values of those three coins. So basically, this problem is asking us to find the smallest difference uh, between any two coins of the coins that were given. So this problem reduces to find the minimum difference between two elements. And this is a pretty straightforward problem. Uh, it's going to involve basically only three steps. One is sorting. Uh, two is calculating the differences between uh, the adjacent elements after we've sorted. Uh, because this is going to put the elements in an order uh, which minimizes uh, the differences between them because uh, it's putting the elements that have the most similar values next to each other. That's what happens once you've sorted. And the third is just finding the minimum of the differences once you've calculated them. So uh, we're going to cover the C++ solution, which uh, provides us in the language with three different algorithms for doing each of these steps. So let's take a look at the code and, and note that uh, for our first example the answer is going to be uh, one and that's by choosing uh, coin zero and coin two so two minus one is going to be equal to one and for the second example uh, we are going to have a difference of zero because the uh, two coins that can be chosen chosen are three and three so let's take a look at the code so here is our C++ solution. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, I'm not dealing with the input here. You can take a look at the GitHub link if you'd like to see how to read in from standard input. But once you have a vector of integers representing the values of the coins, uh, here are the steps you want to do. So the first is you just want to sort those. Um, the second step is to create a vector called D, which is going to store the differences. And then we can just call our adjacent difference function. And so this is basically going to take two uh, iterators given a range that we want to find the differences between the adjacent elements, and then an output iterator that uh, where we're going to store the uh, differences. So once we call this, stored in D is going to be the differences of each of the elements that are next to each other uh, after we sort v and uh, once we have this we can just call our min underscore element uh, and we're going to use we pass it two iterators which is going to find the minimum element from this range and note that we're doing uh, the one element after the start of our uh, vector d and that's because the first element is going to be the difference between zero and the value of the first element uh, element in our vector v. So uh, we don't want to include that one because that's not actually a difference between two coins. And so once you call each of these three functions, uh, you can just return this minimum value and that will be your solution. So pretty convenient using C++ here uh, because you get the STL uh, algorithm library. Uh, I guess technically adjacent difference is in the numeric library. Um, but the point is, is that C++ provides you these functions and you don't need to hand roll them yourselves. And uh, the last thing to talk about is the time complexity. Uh, we're going to have T test cases, and then our sort is going to drive the complexity of this algorithm, which is going to be N log N. So in total, it's big O of T times N log M. And uh, this is just a short video, but I do have a bonus solution uh, written in Bash. So uh, this is something I'm trying to pick up, and I guess it's just for fun. Um, unfortunately, I'm still a Bash noob, and uh, this solution uh, is going to fail. Uh, on the first set of cases, it's going to give you wrong answer if you submit this. And on the second set of cases, it's going to give you TLE. 
Um, but it did manage to generate the correct answers for at least the sample input and a couple test cases that I tried. So once again, more of just a learning exercise. Here we're reading in uh, T, the number of test cases that we're going to loop through from 1 to T. And then we're going to read in N. We're going to read in all of our values in line. And then we're going to store them into array using uh, this line here. So we're echoing the contents of line, then transforming the spaces that separate the values and replacing that with the end of line character, and then sorting these. So using the piping operators is pretty neat in Bash. Uh, and then the double parentheses here are for an expression so we're just setting a variable min to be equal to the difference of the first two elements to initialize our minimum and then we have another for loop from the second element to the uh, last element we're going to calculate a local diff once again in the double parentheses and if our diff variable is less than our min variable then we want to reset min to diff and at the end of this you just echo min so i'm not exactly sure why this uh, didn't work, but uh, I didn't want to not include it just because it was failing on the submission. As always, if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, hit that like button. If you want to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button. You can follow me on Twitter for reminders 30 minutes before contest start, and you can find all of the code shown in my videos on my GitHub page. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.